Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. In one of Tallahassee Mayor and Democratic gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum's first press conferences, he promised... We can invest $1 billion in rebuilding schools. He proposes raising the corporate tax rate in the state... To 7.75% from its current 55 today. It's no surprise, businesses don't like it. The state's in a great place right now, and uh, I think our members are pretty clear that they would like to keep things as is. Any tax increase is a hard sell for Republicans. Even if Democrats increase their margins in the legislature, some Republicans will still have to be on board. Bob Martinez was Florida's 40th governor. He was a Republican facing both a Democratic House and Senate. We asked him how he dealt with a legislature controlled by an opposing party. I first started to come up here in 1965, and it was all Democrat, and the House and Senate would fight with the governor, they're all the same party. So it just is a different kind of perhaps debate. Florida Tax Watch says if Gillum wants more revenue, he should propose the state start collecting the tax already owed on internet sales. A remote sales can be two to three times what a uh, increase uh, the, the corporate income tax uh, could, could bring, and it would be well accepted by the people of Florida. If Amendment 5 passes in November, Gillum will have to garner two-thirds support of the legislature to raise the corporate tax instead of the current three-fifths. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.